Okay, this is the awards, okay? We have three different awards, okay? We have the take-homes, which basically means that these are not particularly the most lyrical songs, but they're the ones that you can play at a party, at the gym, at your house, just chilling, and they don't really require you to, you know, listen to, like, the whole, the whole, you know, the whole lyrics, you know? Or the, the whole, like, oh, my God, like, the sense, the bass, whatever. Nah, it's just a song that you can vibe to. And I got three of them, okay? I got Jail featuring Jay-Z. That song was incredible. Like, that was, of course, uh, after the Don the Champ. And uh, if, even I, 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 I listened to the, the first listening party. I watched the first listening party in, like, July. But after that, I didn't listen to any, any other ones. And uh, I saw that I saw that, that that Jay Z made an appearance, but uh, even now, like I, I expected it to be way later, but is 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 good, man. Like that 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 shit gives me goosebumps, bro. Not really, but it it makes me feel like goosebumps. I don't really get those, but um, yeah, the 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 whole song, bro. The the, the whole like turn, turn. Is it that one? Yeah, I guess who's going to jail tonight? Yeah, 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 man. That was killer, bro, killer. After that, you have Off the Grid, which is featuring Playboy Cardi and 5 e and bro. Cardi, Cardi is good, man. Like, Cardi, like, you might not like his album, bro, but Cardi's here to stay, bro. Like, he's, he's, he's good, bro. Like, he's not a mumble rapper. He's just, he, he's good, man. Like, he, he can make some good fucking songs to him and Kanye, bro. Incredible man, it's almost like Pharrell and Lil Uzi in my opinion. I'm not really a fan of uh, Lil Uzi or Playboy Cardi like that, but what I can see, it kind of feels that way. You know, they kind of flow with each other. The production, I mean. And then you had Praise God, which is uh, featuring Travis Scott and Baby Keem, and that that feature list is just insane, man. Like, can I just repeat that? Okay, so Jail. By Kanye West featuring Jay Z, Off the Grid, featuring Playboy Cardi, and Five Year Four, which is it's kind of mad. I never mind, but Praise God, featuring Travis Scott and Baby King, like that's a mixture, bro. Like I would have never expected uh, Five Year and Cardi to make a. I'm I'm pulling shit out of my ass here right now, man. But still, it's just uh, the combination is just you know something that I didn't expect. Okay, I know that Travis and Baby King made a song together, uh, anyways. But we move on. Okay, it's good. It's incredible. Travis got did his thing. An honorable mention would be Pure Souls featuring Roddy Rich, because I'm a I'm a good fan of Roddy Rich. Okay, I'm not a good friend. I'm a good fan of Roddy Rich. I like. Uh, you know, excuse me for being anti-social. I like some of you know, some of his other stuff, other other stuff every every season. Balling, uh, the woo that that well, he was featuring that song. But anyways, it's just I like his flow and uh, he's he's good. He's a he's a very good rapper. And uh, the takeaway, I don't really have that many because I, I haven't listened to it enough to give you. Like a saw, like, oh, yeah, this is ass or this is good. Like, I still have to listen to it a couple of times. But right now, it's a Don the Chan, of course. Like, I don't like that. But knowing Kanye, he's probably going to make it cool. He's probably going to make that cool. And people are going to start doing that. But right now, it's just uh, and it's, it's, it's kind of cringy, in my opinion. And then the Lyrical Liverpool. Well, the take takeaway, if you don't know, those are the songs that... Uh, are, like, the worst or just my least favorite and then we have the lyrical liverpool and for this one i usually do one but i'm gonna do two in this in this occasion i'm gonna do lord i need you which is a song about you know kanye is kind of dedicating it to kim kardashian his ex-wife and now they're kind of like getting back together question mark something like that and uh kanye is basically talking about how much he cares for her and how much he loves her which is cute but uh yeah, I don't know what to say. It's kind of about the kids as well. It's a family song. That's the first song that I've heard from Kanye that, like, fully talks about Kim K. Like, he has songs about family, but not like that. Like, not that specific. This is one of the reasons why this song, this album is, like, very personal. You feel me? Of course, Donda, the name of his mom, right, who died tragically in, like, 07 or 08, I believe. 
and uh, apparently has it recovered from that. But yeah, and uh, the other one which I kind of mentioned before is uh, keep keep my spirit keep my spirit alive, featuring Conway the Machine and West Side Gun, bro. That song is incredible, man. It's about how you know the world or just situations kind of bring you down, or you know kind of the world is telling you to fuck off or just to you know figure it out or you know you're you're just fucked okay and uh how you can overcome that like in the case of west side gun i believe he got he was able he was he was able to dodge 20 years in prison in the case of conway the machine he was diagnosed with like a with like a heart condition not a heart condition but like a medical condition and his is or like a car crash. I don't I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but it was it was a it was an injury or or a health problem. And uh, the doctor said that it was the doctor said that he was he was gonna die or something. He wasn't gonna not wasn't gonna be able to walk or whatever. My my English is just failing me right now. And uh, yeah, that was that that's a good song. You know, the vocalist, the guy that sings the chorus or the girl. I couldn't really sh- I, re- I really couldn't tell. Did, did did their thing, and it was incredible, man. That 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 album was was good, and uh, one of the thing is that you know, the the good thing about all this is that about Kanye and Drake dropping is that these albums are gonna hold, especially for the guys that are like eleventh, twelfth, or freshman in college, like this is gonna hold a special place in your heart because it's always gonna remind you of this era. You feel me? Like, whether I like it or not, I'm going to think about Don, though, as Certified Lover Boy. When I think about Certified Lover Boy and Don, I'm going to think about my senior year, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. We'll see. But that's 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 a good feeling, you know? Like uh, like Nathan said, he's, one of, he's a very nice uh, music YouTuber. He talked about the power of nostalgia and how, you know, some songs remind you of a spe- specific era, you know, like uh, Flower Boy, uh, well, boredom or nine one one slash Mister Lonely by Tyler the Creator on Flower Boy might remind you of you know summer of twenty seventeen or whatever. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I just blanked out and I just say we'll see, man. When I blank out, um, yeah, that same feeling we're gonna get when uh, this at when when yeah when in a couple of years we're gonna look back and think like ah. Oh, Donda or Certified Lover Boy were like, okay, that's senior year for all of us. Which is nice, isn't it? It's pretty nice. And Utopia maybe by Travis Scott, bro. If they drop, man, who else is going to drop? Silk Sonic? Bruno Mars and Anderson Park? Maybe. Freaking, well, I'm not talking about like this year, but I'm talking about like in general, like this whole school year, right? Until June. Uh, who else might drop? Uh, Ace Harper. Nah, I'm not gonna pull that shit out of my ass. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. It's nice. It's nice. You know, like I don't really remember a time like this. Honest, like in my my high school, like uh, Kitsy Ghost dropped when I was in eighth grade, and I was an Kanye fan back then. Uh, after I was by the weekend in in uh, junior year, sophomore year, I guess. Uh, the off season and the uh, Call me if you got lost in the in junior year and freshman year. I would say lost in, not lost in Confessions of a Dangerous Mind by Logic, even though that's an L of an album. And uh, yeah, uh, Championships by by Meek Mill. Maybe I'm blanking out on some other ones. I definitely am, but those are the ones that I that like caught my attention. Like the ones that I actually was expecting. Like there's a lot of good albums. That I was just not interested in back then, which I I wish I was, but you know this is like the first time that I'm ever gonna like, you know, be aware that big name artists are gonna drop, and actually uh you know listen to them right or whatever. So yeah, the podcast is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breakers, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Anchor, and starting next week, it will be available on SoundCloud, only new episodes, okay? You can also catch the clips in my YouTube channel, link in bio. Okay, bye.